I know in some parts of the country they say if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes, it'll change. That ain't what it is out here. Uh, out here, it is uh, like sunny and 90 all summer long. But I've got something that's a little bit different. Right there is my brand new Tempest weather station. We're gonna talk about that this time on K6 UDA Radio. So the weather flow people, weather flow here, they sent me uh, the Tempest weather system this is it right here. They know I am a ham radio guy. I do ham radio reviews. I have almost no experience, literally no experience with weather, uh, weather stations, setting up weather stations, wind meters, all that stuff, all foreign to me. But I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that are interested in weather stuff. You're interested in weather stations. Now, out here on the west coast we don't have a lot of weather so it's not a real critical thing but starting last year in the summertime here we could see the humidity dropping we could see the winds picking up and you know what that means that means the power is going to get shut off if nothing else all know uh, you know when these when these weather events are gonna hit and they're gonna shut my power off. At least I'll have an idea of when it's coming. If nothing else, I could buy a little gas for my generator. Right now, I am able to use my phone and get on the uh, K6 UDA weather station, which is located about 40 feet behind me. So this is the heart of the uh, Tempest weather station. This is a uh, wind meter, rain meter. It does all kinds of measurements right on here. It has two kinds of mounting deals. This mount here is, uh, you can literally either screw it onto a tripod or in my case, just move it in. These solar panels that are charging it up during the day so literally you don't need to do a thing with this just turn it on plug it in and it goes so now if you decided you would rather go put this on a uh, on a pipe and stick it way up in the air you can easily do that thread this on take this one off just like that you got the on off switch inside and click it on just like that and you're ready to rock and roll mounted to a pipe but bob you ask how does this thing get to my phone well from the handy dandy little base station here that connects up to your internet via a wireless connection put it anywhere in the house just plug it in set it up uh, on a existing wi-fi network and you are in business so guys, the heart of the uh, Tempest weather station is definitely not in the hardware, it's in the software. So let's uh, take a look at the software. So welcome to the K6 UDA weather station, which is located about 20 feet outside. And we're currently looking at the standard weather. Uh, this is something like you'd get on the Apple weather app. Uh, it gives you a combination of data that is directly from the weather station and a forecast. These are the uh, the exact conditions from the weather station and the forecast stuff was up above. Now switching to the raw weather data view gives you the exact uh, measurements that are being uh, collected right this very second on the weather station. And you do that from clicking on the uh, the little cloud up next to uh, K6 UDA weather at the top of the screen. 
Clicking on any one of those fields on there will bring up a graph or a more uh, detail. And this is the wind detail that is going on right now. Switching the graph here to the uh, barometric pressure reading, we could see that this is pretty stable for the last uh, several hours at my location. Going back to the menu, scrolling down, uh, the unit will give you the voltage and the UV radiation uh, readings right there from your location. Very, very cool stuff, I think. And there you go. There's my wind picking up again. Now moving on to the history tab in the center bottom of the screen gives you uh, all kinds of information. It'll count lightning strikes, uh, give you all the wind speed readings, rain, wind direction, the UV index, solar radiation. This thing is giving me way more information than I even know what to do with. Now moving off to the big computer, uh, we can pull up the, the uh, Tempest weather station from a desktop computer and it works fantastic. It does lots of stuff. Those are all the Tempest weather stations in the world. And now on the desktop, we are back to uh, K6UDA weather. Now this uh, screen looks very much like what it did on my iPhone. It gives me actually a little bit more information because it's got more real estate. Now getting back to the map section, you'll see at the top of the screen there is a map icon there. On the mobile version, you're going to go into the settings menu and access um, Weather Tempest map. Now, because I'm interested in the weather that's going on right now in Idaho, because I'm looking to buy there, I'm going to pull up a couple of these Idaho stations and find out what the local weather is right now there. And because I've elected to make my weather station uh, publicly accessible, we could zoom in and we can look at the local weather here at my house or at one of any other locations that are publicly accessible around my house so you could get that macro or micro weather climate stuff. So the Tempest weather station, it is not the cheapest unit out there. I have seen units as low as, you know, like 35 to 50 bucks. They're local only, but I haven't seen anything that is as easy to set up for a newbie like me as this one. This, uh, it's got the, uh, the rain sensor. Let's see, I think wind in here or in here, UV radiation probably up in here. It's got the solar. So there's no batteries to replace on this. That's a big deal. This thing has been up now at my house for about a month and it has been performing flawlessly. As long as my internet is up, this thing is up. Now, I also had the option of using this optional uh, pole mount, which would have been able to uh, stick the thing up high if I wanted to get it away from ground radiation. But the instructions said it didn't need to be all that high. So I elected to uh, screw it into a fence. Very, very easy. Retail price on these things uh, from the Weatherflow shop comes in uh, MSRP at $329. That's a little steep. I have seen them. Uh, I've seen ads for them on, uh, on Google and on the internet for about 250 bucks. So I uh, am fairly certain this could be had for about 250 bucks. What I do like about it is there's no calibration. There's no anything. You turn it on and there it is. There's the live weather right there. Like I said, if I want to see the map with all of the other weather stations on my phone, I can do that. There it is. 
that easy. I think this is a fantastic weather station for both uh, the newbie and uh, and maybe not so newbie. Very, very easy to set up. Almost, uh, almost nothing to set this thing up. Generally, where I live right now in Northern California, this is, uh, it's a nicety. Would I buy a weather station? I don't know. Where I'm moving into Idaho, I have no idea. Do I want to know if it's going to snow or rain or what? If the, if the winds are blowing hard? Now in the summertime here, I do want to know if the winds are picking up and the humidity is dropping. I need to go buy gasoline for my generator because I know the power is going off and it's going to be all bad for days at a time. Uh, I will put a link below to the Weatherflow shop and if you guys want to check this thing out for yourself, I invite you to do that. I don't even have a promo code or anything for it. If I get a promo code before I uh, post this, I will definitely put it in the description. Now guys, I know this wasn't a strict ham radio project here, but this is pretty damn cool. And the fact that uh, a lot of us are doing the APRS thing, and I really want to try to figure out how to port the information coming out of this into APRS, and then maybe I could set up my own APRS weather station. If you guys like this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button right now and the bell notification right next to it. Be sure and leave a comment. Let me know. Do you like content like this? Do you like reviews like this of cool new stuff? And I'll bring you more. Uh, I want to thank you guys for sticking with me during my big move. Uh, I think this is all going to come down very, very quickly. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I've got today. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3. Later.